Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Today we have some RC cars by Arma. We've got a 10th scale, a couple of 8th scales. This is a re-unboxing. I've already opened them up. Took a couple of them for a run. We're going to look at them, see what uh, designs they have in common, what can be swapped, how easy it is to upgrade, and we're going to just take it from there. Hope you enjoy. So the first one that we have here is Arma's Big Rock. Um, this is their 10th scale 4x4, 3S capable um, line that they have. So I'm going to move this one out of the way for right this second. We'll get to this one. Alright, so now for the Big Rock. Like I said, I've already opened these, taken them out. Had a run. That one off to the side. And it's it upside down. Remove this box here. Alright. So here's Arma's Big Rock 10th scale. It's 3S BLX, ready to run. Um, all black finish, 4x4. Four four. So let's get it out of the box. So in the box, that package. So in the box, um, it, it's sorry about that. It's basic uh, packaging. You know, nothing too too extravagant. A little cardboard. Desk. Inlay holds the car, the car inside. We have the car. We have a bag of uh, tools, instructions. Another box with the, the remote. So we'll take a look at their uh, remote that they offer. This is the Spectrum remote. is their SLT3, um, foam grip, decent trigger, it's got steering throttle, on the back side it's got a knob for 50, 75, and 100%, your throttle forward, reverse, steering forward, reverse, your power on, pretty, pretty basic. Now in the bag you get some shock spacers, you get a wheel wrench, a couple of Allen, Allen keys. Um, would suggest buying another little tool set. Same as always. Okay, so now underneath the hood of this, instead of already had it out. got their BLX 100, their armor motor, uh, heat sink, fan, um, all plastic design. I mean, it's pretty flexible, mud guards, uh, splash guard on, on the body. Um, what we're going to talk about is with this one, and we're going to open up the next one. Arma Typhon Mega. So this is a brush system. Runs on a nickel metal hydride or a 2S lipo. Of course, this is the lid of the box. Um, this is their 4x4 buggy, uh, ready to run. Same thing with packaging. Uh, cardboard cutout um, to hold the car in place. Another box with the, another receiver, a spectrum. Take that off. And again, we have um, a bag with tools. This 
one comes with another wheel wrench uh, for taking off the 17 millimeter hex nuts. Uh, this has a seven millimeter nut on it. And again, a basic box. I have your receiver and comes with a wall charger uh, because this car comes with everything but AA batteries. to run in your SLT3 Spectrum remote. So this does come with a nickel metal hydride battery. So it's, it's ready to run. The charger is less desirable. Locked off. And as you can see, you have a nickel metal hydride battery, uh, 3300 milliamp, 8.4 volt. You've got their Rushed ESC, 12 turn Arma rushed motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a take a look at their size compares. This, this is supposed to be their tent scale. Scale. Oh, let's just take a look. Yeah. Well, let's go back to the box. So, the Typhon is an eighth scale based 4x4 four four electronic electric speed buggy. But if we take a closer look at comparison, between the Typhon and the Arma Big Rock. Put the camera in for you. You are going to notice that the wheelbase, as for length for the car, and the truck are pretty much identical. The width of the two of these vehicles I believe to be also pretty much the same. I'll just set this one on top of it. And if you look, the Arma Big Rock is a little bit wider because of the longer arms. So the Arma Big Rock is their 10th scale truck. So basically they in comparison, you would think that you're getting an 8th scale and it would be bigger um, than a 10th scale and a 6th scale is bigger and so on and so forth, all the way to 5th scales. Like an Exceed, the Low C, um, Traxxas's 10th scale Summit, which is more of a 6th scale, um, and another Low C 5th scale electric buggy. So, on back to these two. So, when purchasing the Arma Typhon Mega, you're looking at, um, you find eBay sellers or Horizon Hobby, um, Hobby Town, a lot of other suppliers for Arma. Um, they're around 224. Your Arma Big Rock, um, through the same stores is 319. So you're thinking, what would be the benefit of buying this one over this one, or vice versa? So the Arma Typhon Mega 
would be um, a great beginner's car or one to have upgraded cheaply, which I'll show you here in a minute, to, to have a nice ready to run buggy or RC car for starting out or for, you know, younger, younger children to have control, get used to the hobby. Um, also, like I said, with the controls for the 50%, 75, 100, which also helps to kind of tame them down a little bit. So I'm gonna set you back up here. closer on these. Can't go down. Sorry, I'm all new to this. Get it right. So let's say you buy, in like my case, I have both of them. And I would really like this, this buggy to be a brushless system. And from the reviews of the Big Rock, I understand this one handles a little more power. Um, they run them, they've been known to run them on 4S, 6S. Uh, they have a 3S version ready to, uh, ready to run in the Typhon and they have their 6S ready to run Typhon, um, which is a different, the 6S is a different body constructor. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a better platform for if you want to spend a little bit more and get a nicer RC car to start with. So with the Typhons and Armas, the Granites, the Sentins, all of the Mega line or the 3S line, um, comes with Velcro straps for your battery, a metal hydride battery, and they make it very simple. Um, you can see both both trucks have the basic platform of the belly belly pan structure, towers. I mean, they're they're a little bit different for the body body supports how they're laid out. Um, but the differentials, you know, a lot of these parts will interchange. You have non-adjustable turnbuckles on the Typhon Mega versus adjustable caster camber front on the Big Rock adjustability in the back. None on this one. But they make it really nice. I've got a tool. To easily swap this stuff out and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. So you have two millimeter hex for the ESC. is unhooked. Underneath this box lid you're gonna have your receiver which is um, got a watertight seal on the top and you've got a rubber seal for your wires. Remember orientation of your plug-ins of course. Most of them uh, these uh, Spectrums SLR, SLR 300, uh, 315 these have um, Labels so auxiliary, throttle, steering, your bind. So let's unplug this. Pull the wire out. And what's nice is they have retaining clips for your power wires and so on. So now we have 
ESC undone, and the motor. Uh, they put this locking block on here, which houses this whole gearbox assembly for the slipper, the pinion, uh, the slipper clutch assembly. And what's nice is there is one screw, which is a 2.5 millimeter screw, on the bottom. is this little pull tab design. Pull up on it. Give it a little wiggle. They're actually really tight. Oh, <laughs> would help if you remove the block. You can actually pull on the strap. To remove that, you can pull the whole assembly out and have it out of your way. And then, there we go. And the whole assembly slides out just like that. So now with the big rock, you notice it's the same thing. Side mud guards, bottom plastic belly pan, the motor mount, it's got an aluminum plate for attachment. Again, houses the spur gear, pinion gear, slipper clutch assembly. And we have, again, two two millimeter hex bolts. Holding in the ESC. Actually, I'll leave that one partially in. I can show you also on this one. The center drive shaft, which I already had out of the Typhon, had a mishap with 6S on it. Um, this just slides back. So you can pull it back out of there, lift up, pull the front out, and there's the drive shaft. It has a retaining bearing to, to help with stability of the drive shaft and a little rubber o ring to keep it from sliding off. Now again we'll remove the bottom bolt again in the bottom. Again, this time we'll pull on the strap. Removal of the motor and piece is exactly the same. You're going to lift up onto pull tabs and you're going to slide the assembly back. You can remove the fan wire, unplug it, the motor lead wires, unplug them, and there you have the motor assembly. Spectrum 3200 KV motor. What's nice with with these two is they're new. Like I said, I did not much running on them, um, so the debris was kept to a minimum. So they, those actually slid out uh, quite nicely. Um, it, after a while of bashing and having them running them around a jumps track, however you want it, grass, dirt, however you're playing, um, it is a good idea 
to take and try and keep this as clean as possible because removal will be harder later, but not too bad. And again, there's a wire point retaining your ESC wires going to your motor and your fan, which remove off there quite nicely. Take off the last bolt for the ESC. And then, again, you have a cover. Oh, there's actually one more bolt for an on-off switch mounted in this cover. Which we will leave in. I'll show you what we can do with this. So, on this radio receiver, you have an extra plug-in plugged in to the auxiliary of it, which is your fan lead wire. So you just unplug it and the ESC. Now that uh, battery uh, ESC cover pops. So we'll come back to the Typhon. And we will take the Big Rock pinion spur transmission assembly and motor and just simply slide it back in until it clips. Take the retaining lock, strap right back through. Push it right in, flip it over, reinstall the center bolt. Not to over tighten, but to make sure it's in there. Now then, we can take the ESC, make sure we have our fan wire correct, our ESC wire correct, and your ESC is going to be plugged right back into the throttle, and your fan plugged back into the auxiliary. Like so, and then we can Go off placement where the last wires were fed through in the other box to feed that wire and then the ESC wire. see you can tuck all of those in there now we can take the cover that came off the big rock and place it on the type they use the same boxes Snug. 
snug. And then it is just as simple as rehooking up your motor wires. Plug your fan right back in. Run the wires back in the holding clip. In there. Side. And now you have a brushless Typhon Mega buggy. So we now your choice of 2S or 3S LiPo battery with a IC5 or the EC5 compatible plug-ins. Cell thing off. And now it's ready to rip around under a brushless system. So now you might be thinking, what about the big rock? Well, these parts are so interchangeable because there's enough for the platform between the granite, the Centin, the Typhon, the Typhon 3S, 6S, that the parts availabilities and sellers say eBay, eBay Amazon, You can pick up another transmission um, assembly. Um, I, I think I paid twenty-three dollars for this assembly, and I already had a six S a BLX twenty fifty kV Arma motor um, from an old project to do a six S conversion on the Traxxas Summit, which is going to be another video of a build of doing twin motors on that one but this uh, this came from an eBay seller it was like $23 um, again really really cheap and simple um, buy this assembly your choice of motors you could use a castle Oops, sorry not that uh, you could use a castle um, you could use a Turnigy you know any combination of, of motor you you wanted to put in you wouldn't have to go with a 6s 2050 kV motor you could use uh, like a 3000 kV motor, 2900 kV motor, you know, you, you could have something capable for only 4S if you wanted to. Um, but it's just as simple as, you know, lining up uh, your, your mesh under this cover of three bolts, hold it on, setting your mesh, taking the whole assembly. Give it a little roll, sometimes they don't line up. until it snaps in. And again, then take your your block, lock it in. Putting the one screw back in the bottom. you have your drivetrain, with the exception of putting your drive shaft back in, put the front end first, line the bearing up, depress the shaft, so it slides in, and it's done. So now you have a power plant in here to go. Receiver wires back in. So now with this vehicle, I had a spare Spectrum Firma 150 amp ESC. That's uh, part number SPMXSE1150. Um, this has a little cap pack on it your on-off button, your ESC receiver wire, 
It has your built-in fan with a lead plug-in and an extension plug-in for an external fan. Um, something you could run on this motor um, or placement of however you wanted to do it. Uh, this, uh, this ESC came from a, another project I had running on a Traxxas X-Max. So again, you would start by plugging the ESC into your throttle, placing it, and the wires back through the water seal, taking your radio box cover, turning it back on. screw in. I'm not screwing this ESC down because the mounting tabs, the ears, are a little bit wider so you can attach it with one but not both. There is a placement on the bottom. People have moved the ESC from on top of the box to the chassis. But in this case we will just Run one in, it's tight, and then the ears are also thicker, so the screw doesn't have enough capture when putting it back into the lid because it goes all the way through the lid and actually tightens to the bottom of the box. So we'll just grab a little bit longer screw. These little packages that you can buy, um, not necessarily origin for Traxxas or you know, RC. They're just they're a little package of uh, nuts and bolts and washers. And... So we will just simply find one a little bit longer, as you can see, hopefully, and use it to mount the ESC. Two and a half. There we go. Tighten that down. And this has extension leads on it because I had a larger bullet style connector to run the Traxxas motor which I will be going over later and unsoldering these and placing them further down on the ESC but it's the same principle repeat the process of plugging the motor back in simply tucking the wires down in there, which they give you actually quite a bit of room um, to place the wires in there. 
and then just throw your choice again of uh, two, two, uh, 3S, 4S, uh, 6S now. This is a 6S system. So I'm running, I've got an Obonix uh, 8000 milliamp 50C um, 3S lipo pack. fits quite nicely in there. Now when running only a single battery with a dually plug, you would need a jumper to complete to complete the circuit. Otherwise, if you want to plug one in and try and turn it on, the ESC will not see any power. One moment. All right, now I'm good. So we need just a simple jumper wire to plug in. Again, you tuck everything away, It'll fit nice, nicely under the body. You could mount this on-off switch then back on top of the the receiver lid. There is a placement for it, and then you can. Power it up, and now you're ready to go. Remove something from this body. I would suggest others. Others have other YouTubers have suggested this. These pins. Um, where they go in, they could be drilled out a little bit bigger. Um, they do use quite a large, large diameter pin, um, and they do fit quite snug trying to clip them in. And we would have a, a radio. There you go. We would just turn the power on. We have steering. And we have power. So, for now, that is it on the Typhon and the Big Rock. This is a very long first video, um, so I'm going to wrap it up with the conclusion of is it better to buy a Typhon, a Big Rock, a Granite, a Centon? Um, it's all on preference of what you're going to do. Um, you're going to do, say, you want to do a lot of back backflips. The shorter wheelbase on a granite, unfortunately I do not have one here to show, um, would be significantly better for that. Um, this, you know, does wheelie, it, it does carry itself quite nicely. It also handles very well. If you want to do more low slung, um, your smooth tracks, transitioning really nice, the Typhon would be a great platform. This was more to show buying a, an inexpensive RC car um, under the Arma platform and it, just doing a, a conversion on it to show you how simple and easy it, it truly is um, to buy the parts um, like if you wanted to adapt this one and get rid of the seven millimeter you could run the Typhon ends instead of buying uh, from eBay Amazon um, say a 17 millimeter hex adapter um, you could literally just buy 
the stock parts, find a seller that um, is, say, selling one parting it out, um, and you can change those parts which would work on this platform of truck. So if you're like, ah, I don't want to spend three, four hundred, five, six hundred dollars on an RC car, you could go with a two hundred dollar platform, two twenty four. Um, you know, the shipped, it's you're less than two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, you could if it, you could do the transmission upgrade again. It's another part. You could build it as you go um, while going out and enjoying it on the, the brushed system with a 2S LiPo um, and doing a conversion and have it a 3S system without having to buy both. Um, I just did this because I knew I was going to upgrade this truck specifically um, to this 6S system which was going to go into the next one that I will show in another video and what the plans are for that one. So I thank you. I hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you real soon.